Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, I'm Red, I'm back in charge this week. I want to thank a uh, big shout out to Blue for covering for me uh, the other day, but uh, we got it now. And this week we're doing, as requested, the Tractor Supply Center, oh I'm sorry, Tractor Supply Company, Top 10 Tools and Miscellaneous Equipment. Uh, just a heads up, this is not going to cover a lot of the hand tools that they sell there. They sell a lot of hand tools, wrenches, and stuff that's very similar to what you see at uh, any of your, your bigger uh, hardware stores, including the old Harbor Freight. Uh, one of the reasons not included in this list is because they don't have uh, the same kind of warranty support that you will get at, at Harbor Freight, so it's hard to put them in the top 10. They do come with a limited lifetime warranty, but they don't have the same kind of level of you walk in, you show them a broken wrench, and they're just like, go grab another one, and you're done. And those of you who don't know what tractor supply is, think of it as your hardware slash supply store for your small to middling uh, farm, ranch, rural house kind of setups. Uh, it's not someplace that your, you know, your big mega farms are going to go to get equipment. I don't know, maybe it's on sale, they might. But, but this is something you see, you know, rural America, you got... Chicken, you know, I see here, they sell chickens. Where else can you go in and buy just a chick? You know, great place to pick up chicks, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Enough of that. Let's get on with the top 10 list. At number 10, solar panels. Tractor Supply has a great selection of solar panels, and they have all types. I'm showing you here the 100-watt polycrystalline solar panel for RVs and boats. This is a good, decent quality solar panel, and for 150 that's not bad. Also remember, just like when you shop at, at Harbor Freight and such, they have really good sales over here at Tractor Supply. And, you know, usually you don't come in here and you just buy something, you know, off the rack unless you're in desperate need. You wait until you get a sale. They got good coupons too, 10% off, stuff like that. Wait until it goes on sale. Pick it up cheap. They also have good, uh, I don't normally recommend the extended warranty plans, but Tractor Supply is good when it comes to that sort of stuff. And uh, if, whenever making high dollar purchases, always try to work with the assistant manager or the manager of the store. Sometimes they can cut you deals that you don't even know about. Number nine on the list, pulleys. Yeah, this may not seem exciting or something, but for those of us who like to work on our own tools, maybe even building your own tools, sometimes you need stuff like this to change the, uh, the gear ratio, the speed on a pulley, on a belt for, you know, it could be for a grinder or uh, a belt sander, or maybe you even want to try making your own bandsaw. Trying to find uh, pulleys for uh, stuff like that, it, it's just not easy. You know, you can't go into Home Depot and pick up something like this. Number eight, the Terrain Sport Sled. Yeah, I know you think <laughs> the bear may have lost his mind on that. Guys, this thing has a lot of uses for it. You know, if you're into hunting and stuff, especially if you like out here in California, or out there in California, they, uh, a lot of times you're hunting in kind of a marshy kind of area. They, they call them lakes, but they're only a couple feet deep. Uh, and often you have to trudge through them to get to your spot. What a great tool to throw all your kit in and just drag it behind you, whether you're dragging it over wet grass or, you know, across, you know, a marshy field. Even if that, you know, with, you think without the wheels, it would be, you know, a lot harder to pull. But even on dry, you know, ground, that kind of, Sled really works well for moving some larger stuff. And hey, it's a lot of fun for the kids. Look, they got a rowboat. You can use all sorts of stuff. Uh, in fact, I got a buddy who has one and he built a little cart for it to go into and he uses it as a wheelbarrow during the uh, the off season. Number seven, Porter Cable Stationary Belt Drive Air Compressor. Now, hold on, hold on. I know you think the bear may have lost his mind because as we know, Porter Cable in a lot of ways has become a bit of a zombie brand. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is by far the best quality air compressor you're going to get. But I am going to tell you, as far as a belt-driven stationary 60-gallon air compressor, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a better deal. Yeah, uh, you know, if you look over, uh, a lot of people want to say, oh, you need to get yourself one of them Ingersoll Rand ones. You know, they're long known as the big name in air compressors. Well, you're going to be jumping up quite a bit of price and you're not going to get the quality you think when goes with it. These lower end uh, air compressors from Ingersoll, they just don't have the quality the bigger end ones uh, have. And I hear all sorts of people complaining about them on here. If you look through when I talk air compressors, you will see people talking about, well, I bought one of these IRs and the thing died on me. And if you look at the reviews right there, it reflects it. And if you look at Harbor Freight, 
The 60 gallon at Harbor Freight two stage air compressor, $800. Yeah, when it goes on sale, it's going to be cheaper. But again, it's not getting you know the great quality reviews. We go back to that uh, that Porter cable. Here, here's the the Bears hot tip for you: get that four year service plan for 100 bucks. Tell me you wouldn't buy a good quality stationary air compressor for 550. Think about that. 550, you got a four year warranty on a heavy piece of machinery that you're gonna, if you're gonna buy this for your shop, you know you're using it every day. So you get that four year warranty plan on it and I guarantee you, you get yourself a relationship with that manager or tractor supply and they will have your back. They're good people that work there. I have never been to a tractor supply and met a manager that was just, you know, not one of the nicest folks I ever met. Number six. Canon wide body 64 gun fire safe. Now, hold on. Before someone comes up here and says, this ain't a safe. Go on. First person says it can get bear smacked. Just whack right across the muzzle. I swear to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is technically a, oh, what do they call it? A security cabinet or whatever. Because it doesn't meet a UL regulation number 65 up your wazoo. Anyway, now the point is, guys. It's a safe and all, you know, as far as you're concerned, there, there are people that get kind of be safe snobs and they're like, no, you need to spend like three grand to get yourself one of the Liberty safes. You gotta get you guys yourself a Liberty safe or it's not a real safe. I'm sorry. Just exactly how worried are you about someone breaking in and stealing your guns? I got something that's more effective than a safe to stop someone from stealing my guns. It, it It's me. Oh, and, and my Labrador. Oh, the Labrador, she'll get you. Well, the point is, guys, this has a lot of uses, and it's not just as a gun safe. These things are fire rated for 60 minutes. When we got ours, I had to, I had to really kind of sell the wife on it, and I recommend not doing that. Don't, don't sell the wife on it because you don't want her to know how good this thing is. Because I had to, had to end up giving up this entire quadrant of the safe to her stuff. Because once she found out, oh, I can. I can put all my, my, my documents and stuff in there and they'll be fireproof and I can e easily access them and use it like a file cabinet. Oh man, <laughs> look at that. That's one third of my safe I had to give up. But yeah, I, mean, I gotta tell you, for the money, you won't come close to the quality of a Canon safe and you won't come close to the price that you get from Tractor Supply. Now here's Red's big secret. And it's not a big secret because I've said this before, Black Friday sales. Man, the Black Friday sale at Tractor Supply is off the hook. And I'll tell you what, when I bought mine, which was, you know, it was several years ago, I, I, you know what, we'd had a whole bunch of turkey and, and the day before and, you know, we were in hibernation mode and Black Friday came and we're like, I'm just, we're, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do it guys. I'm sorry. So we didn't make it over to Tractor Supply until Sunday. I knew I'd missed out, but you know, I get there and I'm talking to the store manager. She's like, oh yeah, we're sold out of that. But tell you what, let me get you a, um, what do they call that thing? Oh, let me get you a rain check. Rain check for a Black Friday sale. Oh, and she's a, I looked at her like that. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you're probably expecting to have it in stock. Tell you what, I'll give you another 10% off. You see what I mean about these people? Damn, go into a Walmart and expect you find that. You're, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at Harbor Freight. You go to Harbor Freight, they're out of stock. They're like, uh, sorry about your luck. Anyway, I guarantee if you get one of these safes, you will not be calling the bear later saying you're disappointed about it. I, I ended up selling our safe when we moved uh, because just the, the cost of moving, I figured I'd get a bigger safe. <laughs> And I sold, I think I lost $50 on the deal. Yeah. And that was only because I wanted to sell it quick. They hold their value like nobody's business. They're great quality. The only thing about these safes I don't like versus the ones I had is the one I had had a power and Ethernet and USB pass through. And so I was able to put a PC in there and connect it to my network and back everything else up to it. But I hear tell there are guys who have other ways of making that happen. Also, guys, hot tip. If you do buy a safe, bolt it to the floor. If you don't bolt it to the floor, it's it's worthless. Number five, Palm Grin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Palm Grin. Palm Grin. Six inch in anvil bench vise. This is a little BC like you don't normally see. I'll be honest. I'd never seen one until I ran across it. This is, I mean, it's not a cheap piece of kit. I know for my Harbor Freight fans, you're all looking for the super cheap discount. And at 350 bucks, it's not that. But this is, if you got a small shop 
and you need a decent anvil and just you know the regular i know the regular like the harbor frames in the back of it they have that little two inch square pad they call an anvil and yeah i've used it too but it's not this it's got it's got the hardened face it's got a uh, an anvil horn it's got a step it's even got a hardy hole <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's called a hardy hole. This is a really cool piece of kit at 350 bucks. Man, I, even the bear might think about, you know, splurging for something like that, especially if I was confined to a small uh, work area, like I was a one car garage or smaller, and I needed to maximize my tool usage, that, that would be on my list, and no doubt about it. Next on the list, yeah, you know what, guys, you are at, oh, they're always asking me, Bear, what do you recommend in chainsaws? And I have to say, honestly, in my house that I owned in California, we had no trees in my in our yard, not not one. That that's Central California for you. And but you know what, I wasn't thinking we got a place up in Montana too. Only oh, it's got some trees. <laughs> and I got to tell you, you know what I love when when it comes to chainsaws, my the first thought is always, I love me some Husqvarna, and not just for the name. Yeah, saying Husqvarna is a whole lot of fun. But this is a great all-around chainsaw, 14-inch uh, gas chainsaw. They they pull. You know what? I've never had a problem with a Husqvarna. I, I've had some other back in the days. I, long time ago, I've done work with chainsaws. Uh, probably not safe work because I was not not a bright bear back then. I was young and dumb, and you know what? But the Husqvarnas, man, they they are just smooth as butter, and and they get great reviews. And I just heard nothing negative about them. I, I think that that's definitely, if you're going for a gas chainsaw, basic all-rounder, that, that's your baby right there. But let's say you don't want like a full-size chainsaw, or you want something a little bit more safety measure to it. Boom, works. Six-inch electric chainsaw, five amp. No worry about gas or mixing oils or any of that stuff. This little puppy, yeah, it, it looks like fun, doesn't it? So the the teeth there they're not the chainsaw the teeth are for grabbing onto the limb and keep it from jumping around the chainsaw portion is actually up in the head right here and when you pull on this lever this thing swings down and makes the cut i think they got a picture of it down here there you go you can see the little chain swinging down so you just clamp that over the branch or whatever you know and uh, anything up to six inches you pull the lever and boom, you know, Bob's your uncle. Uh, anyway, it, this is, I mean, yeah, it's got one review, but I, I know lots of people who have this for their house and they swear by it. Works makes some really cool tools and, and this is one of the coolest. Number two on the list, Champion Power Equipment Stackable Porter Inverter, inverter Generators. Now, to be fair, Harbor Freight sells a generator with pretty much the exact same stats. They do, and it's, I would say the design's newer. It's got one of those Predator motors in it. it. It's pretty sweet. And if I were to buy one, I would probably buy the Harbor Freight. But this has a specific use that you can't do with the Harbor Freight. It's stackable. Now, you see how they daisy chain it together there. You can do that with the Harbor Freight, but you can't stack them. And if you're in a situation where you have limited space and such, this is a unique item that it's one of the few ones that really fit the bill. So this is a pretty cool tool. I suggest you check it out. They have some other good ones. Quite often, here guys, here's a here's a tip. Quite often the traction supply and the Harbor Freight stuff is about the same. My first air compressor, when I got ready to buy it, that 10 gallon one, actually, if you see in the videos, is not a Harbor Freight, it's a tractor supply. And I bought it at tractor supply because tractor supply had it on sale that week and Harbor Freight didn't. Otherwise, they're exactly the same, exact same specs, probably made in the same factory and about the same price. So when track, when Harbor Freight didn't have sale, I went to Tractor Supply and they sure did. Number one on the list, you knew it had to be it. The Carry On Trailer 4x7. Guys, you cannot beat this thing with a stick. Okay, you can, but it, it's going to bounce off. Now, the price has gone up since I bought mine. Uh, it looks like it's on sale right now for $570. Uh, when I bought mine, I got a little luckier. Uh, there was a screw up with another one. So the manager, this again, when you're dealing with big ticket stuff, talk to the manager. I was going to buy a larger trailer. They had two of them. They sold one of them, but they registered the wrong title. So they couldn't sell either of them until they get the whole title thing mixed, uh, straightened up. And so the manager said, tell you what, I'll give you 10% off any of the other trailers. So I came back in. Said, all right, and this one was on sale again. I think it was on sale for, for $500 at that time. 
And I said, you know, I'll take this one. She went to ring it up. She's like, okay, it'd be $500 plus tax. I said, no, you said 10% off. She said, well, this is already on sale. I'm like, you didn't say 10% off something that's not on sale. She's like, nope. You know what? You're right. I didn't. And she took another 50 bucks off. Anyway, guys, you can't beat these little trailers. All right. We well, you know the bear. We can't settle for just top 10. We got to throw in some bonus items. So what are the bonus items this week? Bonus item number one, Coleman 196cc extreme mini bike. For you guys who uh, might not remember, this is the replacement for the Baja uh, brand of bikes. Baja was fudging the numbers as far as emissions and they got smacked uh, hard by California. They had to pay several million dollars in fines to the state of California. So Tractor Supply dropped them like a hot potato and switched over to this Coleman brand. Now I'm sure this is again, just one of these things where Coleman's licensed out their name for it. I doubt Coleman actually makes these. <laughs> Can you see it right on the line right next to their thermoses? But anyway, for you guys who don't remember, this was the, uh, you know, the cousin of the bike that I turned into this. Okay, and the hot secret tip of the day is clearance items. Tractor Supply, when they do a clearance, they're fairly serious about it. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard me talking about uh, the uh, electric uh, winch systems that I have that I've used in the shop. They were the smaller ones like you'd see over at, at Harbor Freight, but still they sell for close to $100. I picked up three of them for $30 each on a clearance shelf. Anyway, guys, there you never know what's going to show up in their clearance items. <laughs> Kayak for $200. Really? Uh, I don't know about that drone. That looks a little sketchy. Here's a decent size ATV winch for $120. Yay, if for you guys who love those uh, those anodized aluminum uh, racing floor jacks, uh, if you want a 1.5 ton in red rather than blue, here you go. There you go, you got the, the DeWalt 15-piece accessory kit for 30 bucks. Got your Carhartt reversible hat for uh, 20 bucks. You know, and here's the other thing, clothes. Traction Supply has a great selection of casual country kind of, you know, rural kind of clothes. You see Carhartt sweaters and jackets and stuff wrangler and whatnot uh, they got jeans they got boots again it's not the kind of thing i would normally go out and buy just because you know the wife is a uh, you know forced the bear to be thrifty but you know when they go on sale you got some good deals and when they go on clearance you can got some screaming deals anyway guys if you get a chance you go out and check out uh, tractor supply i guarantee you will like what you find there i've never met a person working at tractor supply who wasn't pleasant who wasn't inviting they're friendly folks over there and they got all sorts of cool stuff that may you know open your mind to some new possibilities even if you're not in a rural situation they got some tools and equipment that you wouldn't normally see and maybe you can find a use for it. If you do, if you found something at Tractor Supply you couldn't find somewhere else and you found an interesting use for it, post it below. I want to hear about the project you guys have worked on. Also, I really like a lot of the stuff you guys have been posting. A lot of you have been doing videos. I think that's awesome. You know, uh, somebody recently posted a, a video of a conversion of a tiller putting a Predator motor on it. I shared it on the Facebook page. Be sure to also check out my Facebook page. We're going to be trying posting more stuff and connecting with the community there. And uh, I know Ford is doing his tool reviews. Go on and check him out at Ford Tool Reviews. I know a lot of you guys are getting into it. I think that's great. Well, some of the YouTube channels we watch are some of the sailing channels. And one of our favorites is, and one of our favorite channels is SV Zangaro. Now, guys, take a second and, and check out their channel because, and don't let the goofiness fool you. This guy is uh, a real practical, you know, down to earth sort. He's not one of these snobby, yachty kind of kind of guys he's more like you know your average you know DIYer for those of you who don't know you know if you're into the RV or boating life any of that kind of you know life abroad kind of thing or life on the road or life on the water you either got to have money or you got to have a, a DIY spirit in his videos he's done as much as you know replacing his own keel that broke replacing lines uh, building a, a brand new dagger board uh, two dagger boards I guess he has a whole video on how to install solar. Uh, he built the hard top for it. He does a lot of work with fiberglass. Uh, there's one on uh, LED lighting installs. He got struck by lightning at one point and he had to rebuild all his electrical. And you know, if you're a DIYer, man, this is right up your alley. So James and I, and James, James is the guy over on, on uh, Zingaro. He and I got into a discussion about what's the best tool for use on a boat. This is the same thing I was thinking about 
when I was sailing the highways of America in my RV last year with the with the family, and that is you've got limited space, so you got to come up with a tool that can play multiple roles. James was talking about a multi-tool, and I said, you know what? The, the best selection multi-tool is probably going to be, it's going to be corded because you want that power for all sorts of tools. You don't want to be limited. And, you know, let's face it, a boat is only so big, so you can only go so far. And the rigid, as we all know, you know, lifetime warranty, great support, excellent, you know, build quality. And it's got those interchangeable power heads on it. So not only is it your basic multi-tool, but it's also... You know, with the changing power tools, it, it can be a scroll saw. It can be a jigsaw. And they've also got this spiral saw that they say is, you know, for like drywall and stuff. Well, guess what else cuts a lot like drywall? And that's fiberglass. So this is a great tool, I think, for, you know, liveaboards on, on boats and also for RVers because you can fill multiple roles with one tool. So we're going to be doing a, a co collab here, collaboration video. It's going to be like a, a superhero team up. I'm going to be like, Batman with all the gadgets and stuff, and I guess he's gonna be like uh, Aquaman, I guess. I wonder if you could uh, put out a, you know, a feeler, a like aquatic, you know. I'm, do you talk to fish? We're gonna be sending him a rigid job max four amp tool for him to try out on the boat. He's gonna try it out, test it, do some videos, and he's gonna let us know is this in fact the best boat you know, the best tool for the boat and maybe also for the rv and guys i tell you what if that tool can survive life on board in that salt air in that condition then there's no doubt it's going to live up to its name in the shop with you so guys here's the point of this for the next two weeks every dollar we raise through patreon or through donations uh, through sales of shirts and on live streams are going to, to purchase that tool to send over to James on SV Zingaro. Uh, in fact, uh, it, anything we raise over $99 is going to go towards purchasing the power heads for it, uh, the additional power heads, so maybe we can give them even a better solution. So let's bear down and show them what we do here in the den and, and help this brother out, all right? But till then, guys and gals, you take care, and as always, shine on.